Good morning, everybody, In the, and thank you for being here. In this video, you're going to see the transformation of a piece from colorful and bold to delicate and soft, which is a new discovery for me. Um, I was attempting to make a sister piece or a companion piece for Wild and Free, which is currently on my website. Um, but clearly this painting did not want to go in that direction. It happened over the period of about three days and there was a lot of frustration with it in terms of developing a composition that I liked. I got stuck on it so many times and um, then things changed when I gave up on really wanting it to be a certain way. And clearly it did not want to be a companion to Wild and Free. So here I am just adding the color, and moving paint around, drips, and um, just continuing to add layer upon layer, trying to, um, trying to make it feel like it was heading at least in a certain direction, which it wasn't. In retrospect, I think the reason I was really struggling with this piece was because of the expectation I had for it to resemble, at least in color palette and feeling, for Wild and Free. I'm not one to give up on a painting. Um, I will usually continue to work with it until something emerges which is what I was trying to do for most of this piece. But you'll also see here that, and I see this now as I look back on the video, the biggest issue in this painting right now is that red blob in the middle. And in essence, um, that's where the eye goes and kind of stays. And that's where all the frustration came from without me really knowing it at the time. Um, if I had covered that up or done it in a different value, maybe a lighter value, it would have worked. But anyway, that didn't happen. So um, I just continued painting with this one. And once I did let go of those expectations, which I'm trying to do here by using a different tool like the fan brush to make different marks, um, given that I predominantly use sponges through my work now, which I absolutely adore. But um, I was trying to, to, um, to change things up with it. And it's just, and it's too red. As much as I love red, it's just too red right now. And I see all that. For some reason, I wasn't able to see that as I painted. So, you know, as time went by, I pretty much did give up on it towards the end and um, my intention was to basically cover it up and start all over again which you'll see um, at the end of this. I'm going to leave you with some music for now and then join you again um, closer to the end.
this is the beginning of, in quotes, giving up. Um, I just could not get this painting to work. So my intention here was to, in essence, cover it in, in white um, and begin, begin over again. And as I began uh, blending in the whites with the still wet paint in many places, um, it started to come together and I was grateful that I could see something was happening. Um, there was still a bit of hesitation in covering up all that color, but uh, I just kept going. And the result that came out was, um, in my estimation anyway, quite lovely. It's a soft and gentle painting. Um, I, at one point I had thought of keeping it for myself and putting it, hanging it in my bedroom um, because it's the kind of painting I would love to wake up to in the morning. So here you can see a lot of it's, the, and then the majority of it's covered in white. And then that sort of abstract kind of image of a bird showed up there from my sponge, which I left. And uh, that's how I... Uh, came up with the title of Fly Free for this one. Um, it seemed like a no-brainer. So I'm still putzing around with it, kind of, but um, that's okay. And once this video is over, I did make a few little changes, but for the most part, this is the finished piece. There are uh, images at the end of here showing it in situ. There we go. And a close-up video of it. And um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this. And if you're an artist, don't give up on your paintings. Just keep going and allow yourself to listen to that artist create yourself in there and stay away from the critical mind or expectations when you're painting um, because that can make creating really, really difficult. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Uh, subscribe and comment below. I would love to hear from you on this. And uh, thank you. Bye-bye for now.